Could it be that Sophia fainted that day? Was it all Julie's fault? Ivy and Thomas? Are they dating? I saw the DNA papers between you and your parents. The results were matched. I was tied up by Julie. Why is there fire all around? This fire is your end. Goodbye, Sophia. You're not my daughter. Ivy is my daughter. Why did you slap me? This slap is all the anger I have for you. Episode final, the end of the selfish girl. Ivy, why? Aren't you dead? Julie, your plan failed. Why is that? Wasn't my plan perfect? Your plan wasn't perfect. Mr. Donald accidentally learned the truth. What? He knew that Ivy's mother was in a coma in the hospital. He found it coincidental that her name was Eva. After knowing Ivy's mother's full name, Mr. Donald contacted Ivy. Ivy and I met Mr. Donald. We knew that it was all your scheme. Ivy learned the truth about Mr. Donald. He is Ivy's father. Julie, you can't hide this secret. Dad, why didn't you tell me? Don't call me Dad. You're not my daughter. My daughter is Ivy. We plan to expose you. When you burned Ivy's house and left, Thomas and I were there to save her. So you had a plan. Ivy, you are an evil girl. You took everything from me. Why is all the luck on your side? Julie! Haven't you realized your mistake yet? It's not my fault. I'm just fighting against the injustice of life. Ivy, have you ever wondered why the rich are always respected? Because they have money. Money can control everything. Poor people never get better. So you do whatever it takes to be rich? Even you impersonate my identity? <laughs> Ivy, let me tell you this. Your mother is in a coma because of me. What did you say? I borrowed money from a gangster. I used her name. With that money, I became Sophia's secretary. <laughs> Julie! Why are you so cruel? My mom is in a coma for five months. My mom helped you for ten years. Why are you so ungrateful? It's because she's stupid. That's how stupid people end up. Julie, you're crazy. Ivy, why are you lucky? I don't understand. Julie, what you lack is sincerity. You don't live sincerely. How can you be lucky? 
It's all a lie. Can a stupid girl like you live in this lying society? You're just lucky. Besides, your biological father is a mercenary. Why did he abandon his wife and his daughter? Then he married a rich woman? Because he wants to be rich, Ivy. That's how the life is. Julie. Mr. Donald. Ivy always said to me that we should live honestly and treat people well. She acted like an angel. But look at her father. A man who abandoned his wife and daughter to search of wealth. And he hid the fact that he had a wife and daughter to marry a rich woman. What do you think, Ivy? Am I wrong? Can you live honestly after this fact? Mr. Donald Why don't you answer for Ivy? But you don't need to do that. You will regret this day. Sophia's room was set on fire by me. You couldn't save your daughter. That's the price you pay. Julie, do you think so? Hello, Tony? Sophia is safe. Don't worry. Thank you, Tony. What? Sophia was saved. Why? We knew you would target Sophia. So we left Tony in the hospital. He will call the police if needed. Julie, your plot has been exposed. I never lose. Hey, Julie! Just let her run away. The police have the file. She can't escape. I remember there was a lot of jewelry in Sophia's room. I will go back and get them all. Then I will flee abroad. The police can't arrest me. Hey, miss. Are you okay? Mom, you're awake. Ivy? You've been in a coma for five months. Really? Donald? Is it you? Why are you back? Mom, you and Dad should talk. You will have a lot to talk about. Ivy. Thomas? A week has passed. Today the hospital called you. Your mom is showing signs of waking up. That's great. Thomas. Will my mom forgive my dad? Because he was too poor, he had to leave my mom. He became rich because he married Sophia's mom. It's been a long time. I think your mom will forgive him. Thomas. Is what Julie said true? The poor will never get better. Will the rich rule everything? Ivy. Do you believe it? I don't believe it. I believe that when we try, we will have good results. 
being rich or poor is just the initial advantages and disadvantages. That's right, Ivy. We can't do reckless things just because we're poor. Thomas. Julie had a traffic accident while running away that day. She was hit by a car. She was paralyzed in both legs. She has to sit in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. She doesn't want to see anyone. Ivy, that's her fate. Her selfishness and greed made her end up like this. Thomas. If I could have stopped Julie earlier, she wouldn't have ended up like this, right? I don't think so, Ivy. Julie wants to be rich at all costs. She won't give up. Thomas. Sophia hasn't woken up yet. I hope she wakes up soon. Even though she harmed me, she is my half-sister. But when she wakes up, will she forget her hatred for you? I don't know. But I know Dad wants her to wake up. Who is it? Julie. It's me. Ivy. I don't want to see you. Please leave. I know you don't want to see me. But I want to see you. I want to say a few words. Then I'll leave. I don't want to hear. Julie. This ending is yours. If you lived without ambition, you would have a better ending. Ivy. Are you happy that I'm like this? I'm not happy. I'm very sad. Why did you become like this? I should know you changed. You changed too much. Julie. This might be the last time we see each other. From now on, you and I will have nothing to do with each other. Whether you live or die, it's none of my business. Goodbye, Julie. Ivy! She left me too? It's all my fault. I lost my best friend. I was so stupid. I'm a selfish girl. Ivy. I'm sorry.